Oh, hey. I didn't I didn't see you there. Um how are, how are you guys doing today? Oh, you you want me to you want me to play you want me to play some FIFA? Okay, I I can yeah, I can do that for you. Uh I'm not, I'm not wearing any pants though. You know how we're going to kick off this episode, boys and girls of all ages, with a community tots guaranteed player coming right at you. Wait, where's the guy? Parolo's in, aka Mr. Definitely Needs Hair Gel, and uh, we're getting rid of this guy we packed last episode, and hopefully we get some sick team of the season that I will review, and hopefully not a goalkeeper. Alright, so I'm guaranteed a community tots player. I would be happy with pretty much anyone except for a goalkeeper or, or even a defender, really, because that's not a fun kind of player to review. Even the lowest rated player is Van Ginkle, and I kind of want to get Van Ginkle because I want to play him at striker. When Chucky Lozano gets his team of the season, I'm going to pair Van Ginkle at striker, have Chucky on full chem at right wing. So let's see, community tots player, who are you going to be? Hopefully someone, someone good. I mean, I would take a PK, even though I don't really want a defender, just because he's highly rated. But it's gonna be Spanish. Oh, it's Gaia. Oh, por qué? Oh, I really didn't want Gaia just because he's a left back. I mean, it's a good card though. One of the better defenders. Probably the best left back that I have now. Let's look at these stats. Maybe there's a chance I could play him somewhere else, but he has 67 finishing, so I can't really. I mean, this is a really good left back, and I can't complain about it. It's just he's not gonna make a great review because he's a left back. All right, so the creation that we've whipped up. Um, first of all, let's go look at these Gaia stats because we're including him. It's a review of Gaia as well. I do notice immediately high medium work rates, which I don't really like. I like high, high work rates for my fullbacks because I want them to stay back mainly. I, they have a tendency in FIFA to get too far up the pitch. Looking at these stats, they look really good. I mean, I was thinking about playing him at left winger to see if he would be good there because he does have high medium like we just mentioned. But he only has 67 for finishing, um, and his shot power is not very good, his long shots aren't too good. So his shooting stats are lacking, everything else is really good, so he's going to be a solid left back, that's his position. And you should, uh, you should play him there. But the man of the hour is Marco Van Ginkle. We bought him. Right footed, high medium work rate, 6 foot 1, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills. Let's look at these stats, and the reason why I'm playing him at striker. 91 composure, 90 finishing, 86 shot power. He has good agility, it's not great. He has okay acceleration, not, not great. Okay balance. So I I don't think he'll actually be the best striker. It's probably not his best position. But I like to have, I'm thinking in the future and how I'll have Chucky Lozano at right wing. I could play Arias. He has two informs at right back and that could get full chem. But uh, I want to see if there are more options to be played. Trying this Van Ginkle card, he has catalyst. So that boosts the pace and it boosts the passing. So he, it, as long as he gets into a position to shoot, he should be pretty good. Uh, he's not going to be the kind of player to dribble around people, but he should be able to finish. This is a squad. We've got Clyber, we've got Chucky. It's not a great squad. I just kind of threw whatever players I had in there. Because uh, I don't care about the other guys. I just want to review these two blues. Have you guys heard about how if you press the like button, it makes me really happy? I've noticed that whenever I go into an extended version of Please press the like button, mate. People always press the like button more. For example, I did this bit and I said to like murder the like button and I got more likes on it than I did on my previous two videos combined. So please murder the like button. When you murder things, it's good. I hope I don't get demonetized. All right, here we're going. Here we're going, boys. He's got he's got Cenk Tosin. He's got Mares. He's got Aaron the boy. Um, while we're here as well, uh, speaking of, I don't, I don't mean to plug too many things, but, uh, have you guys checked out my two new channels? They're both really good. I posted a really long podcast, which a ton of people will enjoy. I also have Long Transaction Vivo, which not as many people will enjoy. Oh my gosh, it's so laggy. Can you just not, can you not be a FIFA for one day? Van Ginkle has won two really good headers. He's six foot one. He's a presence. You know who else is a presence? Chucky. Oh, wow. How's Deli Ali onside? Keeps, uh, I came out too far and I got chipped. Oh dear. I don't know how he was onside. Like, what are we doing? Oh, what kind of games are we playing here? Oh, he's dancing. He's doing some special tango dance. Clybert back post. Still Clybert. Still Clybert. Still Clybert. Oh, it's wonderful. Is that a goal? It's lagging. I hate this game. Why do you do this? Oh, what? What a pass. 
Tosin, oh my gosh. My defense sucks. Clivert gets to it. Still Clivert. It's still Clivert all the way. I should have passed it back post. It was a tap in. There's Van Ginkle. Still Van Ginkle. Play a great ball for Chucky. Chucky, run. Oh, Chucky. Van Ginkle. Play one, two. Get it back. Still Van Ginkle. He's going to center it. Oh my gosh. Van Ginkle. Plays it to Lozano. Here's Chucky. Chucky. Four. Van Ginkle. Center it, please. Van Ginkle. Finally. It's so laggy. Okay, we scored. Ah, <sighs> this game is so trash. Why can't I just have a good connection? Van Ginkle did well. Clyber did well. And uh, it's 2-1. Really? Oh, no. Tosin with the banger. 3-1. All right, halftime. We're kind of getting owned here. And by kind of, I mean we're getting owned here. Van Ginkle, good hold-up play for Iaramendi. Still Iaramendi. Turns. Plays it back. It's Ruben Perez. I don't know who you are. And I don't want to find out. Iaramendi, go. Iaramendi looking. He has his head up. He spots Van Ginkle. Van Ginkle, low driven. Um, oh, he didn't hit it well. Go Van Ginkle. Play it down. It's a good one too. Another one down. Iaramendi. Van Ginkle. Up top. Looking for Van Ginkle. We find him. He hits it and it's blocked. Damn it. Gaia. Well done, Gaia. Into Iaramendi. Into Van Ginkle. Can he turn? He scores. All right. 3-2. We're still in this. Come on, boys. Let's let's move. I don't I don't know if you heard me. It might have gotten lost in all the lag. Oh, really? I love lag. It just like I like it. It spices things up. Good one too. Van Ginkle's wide open left foot. Blocked, of course. Peter Mendy plays it for Gaia. Ruben Perez inside. It's R Sergio Roberto. Rico. Rico Suave, I believe is his name. Um, we have it. It's laggy. I I passed it. Van Ginkle. This game is so so just so stupid. Okay, here we go with match number two. Now the question on everyone's mind: Is it going to be laggy? I think there's a 77.8% chance that this will be laggy. Go Gaia. Run Gaia. Run Gaia. Oh, it's lagging. I love it. Oh, you gotta love the lag. Clivert, still with it, gets by one, plays it in for Ginkle, Van Ginkle! I don't know why I tried to chip it, I don't, that was me being stupid. Here's Van Ginkle, play it down, it's a good pass, Clivert, four, Iaramendi, Iaramendi continues, Iaramendi plays it for Van, oh, I got fouled. Alright, Van Ginkle actually doesn't have the best free kick stats, but we'll see. I, I have a feeling he'll he'll do well. Okay, he, he did pretty well. It, thank you for the lag, though. I always like to throw that into my montage clips. This was a spectacular hit. Right into the upper corner. I am now Lady Gaga. Plays it to Gaia. Gaia in behind for Iaramendi. For Clivert. For Chucky. Back post. Nicely done. Chuckster. 2 0. All right. Van Ginkle is not a striker, so I'm going to change his position to what I think is the best position for him, Cam. Let's look at these. St he has clinical finisher, distance shooter, no traits. So he doesn't have any speed dribbling stuff. Uh, I can't actually remember what his dribbling is. 84, which is pretty good. Ball control is 86, pretty good. But he's not quick enough to play at striker, uh, in my opinion. All right, we somehow an have another free kick. I, I seriously don't know how. Van Ginkle, can you do it twice? I did the exact same thing. I t what am I... It's just random input gaming. Here we go with Chucky. Chucky, now with Van Ginkle. Van Ginkle, is he going to tee it up? He tees it up. He finds the bottom corner. All right, Cam, it definitely is. Cam is the position for Van Ginkle, and he can play there pretty well. Here's Van Ginkle. Van Ginkle, finding space, finding room, finding a finesse. Oh my gosh, what a save. That would have been a spectacular shot. Van Ginkle turns. Van Ginkle hits it. Van Ginkle! Someone stop this man. He needs, he needs milk. This was a ridiculous hit. Right through the legs. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Clivert with a great back heel for Van Ginkle. Can he go? Can he outstrength Manolas? He did really well against Manolas. He still has it. Oh, it almost ended up in the back of the net. And it does. Chucky Lozano, 5 0. It's utter dominance on our part. It's utter dominance on Marco Van Ginkle's part. Ever since he made that switch to Cam, he's been the best player on the pitch. Yeramendi picks it up. Keep going, Yeramendi. Play it through. It's Van Ginkle again. It's Van Ginkle again. He's clinical. 6-0. No. 
four for Van Ginkle. Play it for Van Ginkle. He made a good run. Van Ginkle, king of the runs. Still Van Ginkle. Oh, he's in a position to score. And that's what he does, seven nil. You feel comfortable on either foot. He's really quick when you get the catalyst. Well, okay, I shouldn't say really quick, but he's quick. He's quicker than he looks uh, if you put a catalyst, if you put Hunter on him. Uh, he's not quick enough that you can play him at striker, but as Cam, he makes really good runs. He's difficult to track, and he's he's a good player. Oh, no. It's Papu. No, Papu. 7-1. Are we in Brazil? Is your name Oscar? Are you from China? Full-time whistle. 7-2. We win. All right, here we go into the final match. Um, Lukaku. Utzel. Danny Rose. Just to name a few. Van Ginkle, one, two. Back for the ginks. He's gonna finesse it early on. We haven't even made the change yet. Van Ginkle, you're on fire and I need you to stop. I don't have my extinguisher with me. I don't know if I actually have one of those. I, I should probably look into that because I think you're supposed to change it like every three months or something. And uh, at the moment, I think we've been going on a couple of years. It was a really good hit. Nice finesse. No chance for that man with the haircut. That wasn't a very specific description, was it? Clivert, great back heel for Van Ginkle. He still has it. Van Ginkle, oh, what a deflection. What a save. Aderson, incredible. That is an Ader dad move. Clivert. Clivert for Van Ginkle. Inside for Lozano. Chucky finds Van Ginkle. It's still Van Ginkle. Oh, the, oh my gosh, the cheekiness to do a little step over there. Van Ginkle, you're on fire. And everyone is terrified, especially my mother. She's cowering in my closet. Oh, they didn't show it. Eduardo, you had to show it. Man, that was such a... I did a little step over. It was composed. Oh, what? Sane. Halftime. I think we've been a much better squad here. Um, but the stats don't really reflect that. Maybe that's my bias. I'm biased, boy. Play it. Oh, it's a great ball. Ruben Perez. I thought you were Van Ginkle, but you acted like him and you scored. Go oh, Clivert, Clivert sees Chucky. Who doesn't see Chucky? Everyone sees Chucky. Chucky, be my dad. <laughs> I already have a dad. I don't need two. Look at the finish. An exquisite first touch, an exquisite pass. But the finish is what will have all the ladies swooning. Play it, Van Ginkle, one, two. I, th I think Van Ginkle's had a relatively quiet game. Can we change that, please? Okay, five, one. Oh, that was nice. Full-time whistle, we win. Van Ginkle, yet again, man of the match easily. Okay, so three matches played for Van Ginkle. He scored nine goals, had one assist, which is actually, he's the third team of the season that we've reviewed. I guess technically he's part of the fourth because we have Gaia as well. But uh, in, as far as attackers, he scored the most, and that's going up against Gomez, who is really good, and also Malcolm, who's also very good. So Van Ginkle, surprisingly, because he was playing at cam had the best return he's 55k which is not very expensive uh he's probably going to go up in price too whenever that t uh, chucky lozano one drops people will want that strong link so 55k not it's it's almost you can think of as being on sale because he's going to go up in price whenever that other card comes out the things i liked about this card there were a lot of good things the finishing he really is clinical composure is great uh he makes really nice runs especially for center mid cam whatever you want to call him uh, his passing is good, his shot power, his long shots are spectacular. Even his free kicks, the stats weren't that great, but he still did really well. He's got 81 strength, so sometimes he's not the kind of player who you can take to dribble around people, but sometimes he'll make, well, he makes good runs, and then sometimes he's able to body off the defender because he's quick enough. He's not really fast, but he's just quick enough, and then he has enough strength to do that. So players like Rudiger, a center back like him, a, player, a center back like Smalling, they're not going to just overpower Van Ginkle. I think the clear best position for him is Cam, center forward. The first match I played him at striker, he pretty much didn't do anything. This card, if you want to think about him, is basically Kevin De Bruyne, but uh, not Belgian. He's, he's Dutch. Quickly, Gaia was very good. I liked him. I just wish he had high high work rates instead of high medium, but it's not a huge issue. Just put him on set, stay back while attacking, and it should be fine. He's only, wow, I didn't realize he was that young. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. For both of these players, it's a buy. I don't know how expensive Gaia is because I packed him, but 55k for Van Ginkle 
definitely a buy. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment, share with your friends. Let me know who else you want to see reviewed. And as always, subscribe to my other channels. <laughs> Don't forget to spare pets.